insane amount of bubble wrap that I have right here. You know, I really should buy a mirror because I don't have like a mirror. I'm, I'm only using the mirrors for my palettes. <sighs> this is me. I'm going to have to purchase another thing from Shopee. Oh no. I'm running out of words. Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be trying out Squad Cosmetics and I'm going to be showing you what I purchased, how much it costs, and of course my first impression and review because I've been seeing this brand a lot on Instagram and they intrigued me since the prices were super duper affordable and they looked really promising from the packaging and how it looks so I really wanted to try it out so I finally had the guts and purchased them online and here we are we're going to we're going to be playing with it and yeah watch me as I try them on and what my thoughts are on them so without further ado let's get on with the video Okay, so this package took around five days to arrive and it was really, really quick. I wasn't expecting that to be that quick. I thought it would last for about a week. So I'm pretty happy that I got it today. I will be opening it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I got five items. So let's just see and open it up. So in the package, there is of course my receipt and it is nicely packaged because it's in this big bubble wrap. So yeah, I ordered five items and my total was 710 pesos. So I will be going through over with the prices and everything. But first, let's open this up. My dog is intrigued too. He's looking at me like, is that food? Oh, well, there we go. So it comes with a big bubble wrap and then smaller packaging. So they really package this really nicely, making sure that nothing will be broken. And I'm having quite a hard time opening it, but okay. So ooh, they're bigger than what I thought they would be so right here. So I'm going to show you one by one what it is. First is this cheek palette. This is the Squad Contour and Blush in the shade Chin Up. And this was 199 pesos. <gasps> really pretty. And then I got the eyeshadow palette, of course. This is in the shade Peach. This was also 199 pesos. And then a blush and highlighter duo. This is in the shade Diet. And this was only... 88 pesos and then I got two lip products. So this is the multi-purpose cream in sunny and This lip tint since I'm a sucker for lip tints. This is the lip tint in Monica so They had a lot of shades for each of these items These are the ones that I chose and I had a hard time picking to be honest because I did all the shades look super duper promising so i'm so excited to be trying it on today let's go let's do this okay guys so i moved you a little bit closer to me so you guys can see what i'm doing i'm gonna be starting off with the eyeshadow palette by the way i already did my foundation and my eyebrows off camera since i didn't purchase any of those so i just went ahead and did that so again this is in the shade peach they had other colors packaging wise first of all the packaging looks stunning it looks really sturdy as well and look at just look at the shades wow i'm just gonna swatch one let's try this one right in the middle that is super pigmented it didn't feel chalky or powdery at all so this is so exciting so i'm gonna create a look with this i don't know what i'm gonna do to be honest I'm like this is another playtime for me. Let's just play with the shadows and see what look we can create. So I'm really a fan of peach color eyeshadows and warm tones. So that's why I opted for this one. But I really also wanted to purchase the neutral one that they had and as well as the berry because the colors in those palettes are super duper pretty. So if I like this, I probably might pick up those. I'm going to be taking this color right here. And I'm gonna put that in the crease. It's not powdery at all. I don't see any fallout so far. Okay, next, this color is really calling to me. So I'm gonna take this really, I don't even know how to describe that, like a very, very peachy color. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corners to deepen up our eyes. 
did you see that? Oh, that is so pigmented, you guys. Whoa, this is so pretty. So I didn't know what I was expecting, but should have gone in light-handed first because I kind of create a very intense look, but I kind of dig it. This is very pink. It has a very pink undertone too, like reddish pink. And I really, really like that. I don't have anything like this in my palette. So this is just perfect. I'm really, really liking this palette. Like I had high hopes for this and it really exceeded my expectations. Now I'm going to be taking this shade in the corner right here and put that on my lid. Wow, so pretty. This is what I came up with. I thought I just wanted like a super natural simple look but this palette is just super pigmented. I wasn't expecting the colors to be this vibrant so I really 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 like this. I'm such a sucker for really nice packaging and this is so simple yet super pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some eyeliner and some lashes just to finish up the look. So I already did my eyeliner and lashes off camera and I decided to put on falsies because it's such a waste not to because this look is just... So I just had to. Oh, by the way, I was supposed to purchase their eyeliner as well since I'm such an eyeliner person. But they were sold out when I messaged them. But they did tell me that once they restock, they will let me know ASAP. So that's really nice of them to do so. Okay, anyway, so um, about the eyeshadow, it's super pigmented. It's not chalky at all all it's not powdery and you don't get any fallout so i'm really 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 happy with this so i'm gonna be trying out their cheeks now uh maybe i'll do one side of each look at this palette though it's so big for 199 you get like big sizes of products so that's really really nice let's watch the highlighter color It's okay, but it's not like as mind-blowing as the eyeshadow, but yeah, it's still a really pretty shade It has like a nice luminous effect to it. It's not blinding, but it is still really pretty So this thing comes with a highlighter two blushes and a contour color. So yeah, let's try it out Try the contour first since I haven't contoured my face yet The undertone of this contour is more warm. I thought it would be more neutral. It's not a taupe undertone. Still a really nice color to like bronze up your skin. Since I have two blush colors here, I'm going to be doing one in each side. So first is this. So I'm going to take this and use this on my left cheek. Wow, that, that's pigmented. Now I'm going to try the highlighter on this palette. Ooh. Right off the bat, I can tell that this is more of that shimmery highlighter. It's not that glowy glass highlighter, but it still is really, really pretty. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it really picks up the texture of my skin, but it's still really pretty. It's not my favorite. I think my favorite Thing here in this palette is the blush but the contour is also nice it's the highlighter I'm just okay with so next is this one I'll try this on my right cheek it's also a duo blush and highlighter so this is in the shade dyad it really reminds me of the blush and highlighter duos from vice cosmetics this is more of a golden highlighter which is I prear because you know I'm morenic when swatch it's not like blinding or anything it's just it's just luminous so let's see the blush oh the blush is pigmented yeah I'm not a big fan of the highlighter from that it just picks up the texture of my skin it's not really flattering I mean if you have nice clear smooth skin you won't have a problem with that. Let's see the highlight. Same as this one, it also picks up a lot of my skin's texture. I'm gonna put this in my inner corner. I bet that's gonna be really, really pretty. Yeah. I 
knew it. <laughs> I like this shade better than the one in the palette. Um, definitely, I love the blushes. The blushes are super duper pigmented and the highlighters also are very reflective it's just it's not it's not the type of highlighter that just melts into your skin you can see it on top and it does as i've been saying you can see through your skin's texture the price it's good it's just if you're gonna use the highlighter just don't overdo it or else it's gonna look a bit clumpy and cakey but the blush the blush are banging now it's time for the lips so i have two products here let's try out the lip tint first this is the squad lip tint in the shade monica this was the cheapest product that i've purchased from all of my purchases so let's try it it's just a doe foot applicator Ooh, it's like a nice reddish brown color it smells like it has a very strong cherry scent. You know those bubblegum cherries that you eat? That was my childhood candy. And it's ve it smells very strong of that. So if you don't like cherry flavored scents, I mean, I'm not that big of a fan of cherry flavored scents, just heads up. Hmm. I don't think you can go wrong with lip tints anyway. When it's on your lips, you don't smell the cherry scent as much anymore. It just feels like my lips, you know? It's not like sticky or anything. It's like a water base. So yeah, that's the lip tint. Okay, so I want to try now this. So this is the multi-purpose cream in Sunny. I removed the lip tint now. Now let's apply the lip cream. Let's just swatch it first. It's another teardrop doe foot applicator. And the packaging, I love it. This smells like frosting. It smells like a biscuit, but I can't tell what. It's very strong. It's pigmented. It's so pretty. Let's try it on my lips. I thought this was going to be more nude, but this is peach. Such a pretty color. So I picked this shade since I thought like you can see it looks really like nicely nude. But once it's on your lips, it's more peach. Actually, it really depends on your skin tone. But on me, it looks more peach. So it really ties in with the whole look. So with the applicator, since it's a teardrop doe foot, application made it really, really easy. And I was able to perfect my lip shape. It's not sticky at all. It feels super light. You will still feel like something's on your lips, but it's not heavy or thick at all since this is a multi-purpose cream i'm pretty sure you can use this on your cheeks and i'm not sure if you can use it on your eyes if you're very sensitive to you know scents and strong smells look out for this i love the consistency of this lipstick so yeah i'm gonna finish up like i'm gonna fix my hair and everything and i'm gonna tell you my thoughts and everything and what product I like the most. Okay guys, so I already stopped my hair and add some touch-ups and I can finally tell you guys my overall review on Squad Cosmetics. For the price that you'll be paying, like everything is super duper affordable and I'm a student myself still, so this is very budget friendly for me personally and with the price that you pay, you get a lot of product and I'm just gonna say it off the bat like these are all good hits for me there are some stuff here that just is okay but it's not a total no for me like, all of this i would still really use i don't know what else to say because i'm such a huge makeup lover and i try to see the best in all makeup products so i'm just gonna jump on in what my favorite product here is i think you can kind of tell which one i have actually two first runner up is of course the eyeshadow palette and i was super amazed with the pigmentation and the quality of the shadows it went over and beyond and come second is the lipstick actually the multi-purpose cream so now that i have it on it's already dry it feels super light on my lips that it seems like it's barely there but the color and everything is amazing. Yeah, the only downside I had about it was the scent because it was too overpowering when I first opened it. And it's super pigmented. I love, love, love the applicator. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to purchase 
more shade colors even though these are my favorites like the other products are really great quality as well i love the blushes the lip tint is already bomb the highlighter i think that's the only part that i was like meh about but so far right now i like how it's looking can you see it like blinding on cam so yeah guys for the price the quality and everything it's a 10 out of 10 in my book and i would love to try out more products of theirs soon because they have other products as well like their foundation and they have lipsticks as well as powders and of course the eyeliner the mascara i would love to try those soon so yeah guys that's it for my review and try on as well as the swatches i really had fun playing with makeup and trying these on this is 100 percent honest and it's nice to support our local brand you know if you guys want more reviews in the future and if there are any other products or brands that you would like me to try please comment down below so i'd know or you could reach out to me in my instagram which you should follow as well yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye